Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at some more of the hot stocks that were in play today. There were tons of stocks with good charts that are heading higher. So first up, we're going to go back to GCAP. Okay, so this is trading, uh, what was trading, was up and after hours trading, was trading above $11 at the close. So yeah, uh, on top of the $9.85 close today, um, closing price at the closing bell during the regular session, it was up over eleven dollars, so a huge gain. Um, this is the weekly chart, and, and, and so uh, what, what I want to show you here is are, are the next key resistance levels. We've been, we've been talking about this in the chat. You know, the, there's uh, you know th these guys are in the right place at the right time, and, and so there's a lot of upside potential here. We're going to see if it can break out higher. Uh, so currently, the big move today was the close, or or this week, because this is a weekly chart. That currently, it, it busted above the the high close from 2015. It had already broken above the 2016 and. 2017 levels. Uh, uh, you know, it, it needed to get above the 2017 high. Uh, you know that that's happened this week. And, and then what what you had is a break now above this really key resistance level. There was a triple top back here in 2015 before a big pullback, and it's currently above that level. So you want to see a close above 950 for the week. And so that's going to be very important. This is a huge resistance level. It, 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 the next key level after that is going to be up here at 1050. Just above of 1050, which is the high close from 2014. Um, notice that was a peak. If it can get above that 1050, which it's currently at right now, it's at 11. Now, now we're talking about the next key level, which is over here from 2013, which is the the all-time high close here at, at for for GCAP. It currently, uh, it's just above 1150. You know, around 1160 or so. So, uh, you know, if it can bust above that level it, it, during the session tomorrow, uh, th then you're looking at a run up to 13 that's going to be the, the that's the all-time high for the stock and, and so a break above 13 would be blue, what we call a blue sky breakout that there's no other resistance so so right now the highest like weekly close ever is this 1150 1160 level here just above 1150 and so if you can get a weekly close above that level that would be super bullish uh, notice it was in this uh, multi-year downtrending channel and then it started this uptrend after the bottom in 2000 2016, and so it's been uh, making higher highs and uh, higher highs and higher lows, and then this week it's breaking out of the top of this, uh, you know, channel, this multi-month channel from from this year, and so this is a big move. We're going to see if it can break out higher. If you look here at the monthly chart, notice how this this cleans up the weekly chart, so the weekly chart can be a little difficult to read, and then when you switch it out to the the monthly chart, you can see it smooths out the data, and so basically it's showing the same. Uh, resistance levels though and so you have the the 2015 high close in the monthly chart is just above nine and so it's above that level and, and then in 2014 the high close for the month was here uh, uh, it looks like around 975 and, and so you want to see a, a, a monthly close above that level which will be the the closing bell t tomorrow it's the last trading day of the month and of the year so so, so a close above that level would be very bullish and, and then it's currently a, 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 a above a 11, right? So so notice how uh, this right above 11, around 11.10 or so, was the all-time high close back in 2013 on the monthly chart. So if it closes above that level tomorrow, that would be extremely bullish. Notice that 13, you know, as I said before, was the highest level this has ever been. And notice the trading started back here in 2010. So so yeah, check out the volume. This is the all-time most, you know, the, the, the largest volume in the history of the company. Notice how it's been building. You know, now institutions can jump in. It's it's above five. It's above seven. It, it, we'll see what's going to happen. It has a lot of uh, uh, momentum right now. Okay, let's look at HMNY. Okay, so this stock had the nice bounce today. Congrats, everybody. It, it, this was the technical bounce that we were looking for off of uh, the 300 and, and 200 day simple moving average support zone you know it broke through that 200 day simple moving average yesterday which is the red line currently at 593 and there was just one line of defense left or two days ago left was the 300 day simple moving average you know it came down and and hit that level uh, uh, yesterday and held you know closed right at the 50 or 300 day simple moving average so we we're looking for a bounce off that level it needed to bounce 
bounce. It, it did today. Um, it, it, it's it's uh, now it's above EMA's four and eight, and it's right at the, the EMA thirteen. And as you can see here, there is a, a, an unfilled gap on the chart. And so the the big thing is breaking above the bottom of the gap, which is this red line right here, pretty much lined up just above EMA thirteen. And then the top of the gap is the bottom of this black candle up here at ten dollars. Uh, in between, you have the middle Bollinger band that needs to get above. It has to get back above this eight dollar level in order to get a, a new uptrend going. And then it's it's the hundred day simple moving average at nine twenty five. So it has a couple levels to break to get to, to fill the gap. You know, a gap fill would lead it up here to that fifty day simple moving average at ten sixty eight. The big volume today is promising. It had the nice bounce. If you see it drop below five forty one below the three hundred day simple moving average, the chart is completely busted and the the bears are still in control. You know, it would signal more downside risk. Okay, let's look at EARS. This stock closed up 33% today. It had a nice close. You notice it has uh, RSI here at uh, uh, up here at 50, uh, 59. And, and so it's still in the bull zone. There's still room to run until overbought levels. Notice uh, on prior runs, you know, it's, it's ran above 70 and so that 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 you know so so it has room to run uh, on the RSI. It, it, it's this one you know we showed the gap on the last one uh, last chart for HMNY. And so this is a very similar setup where it has the gap. Uh, this is the bottom of the gap down here, and um, th this is the uh, top of the gap up here. Okay, and um, and, and so uh, yeah the the. Uh, so so yeah so that's the top of the gap. I'm having some problems with my mouse. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, and, and so currently the, the share price broke above uh, the 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 high close. It's been above the bottom of the gap. It's been uh, in this you know heading higher since the low down here. And, and so now it, it broke above the the high close resistance level from back here uh, last week, last Friday, and it's hitting the the 50 day simple moving average. It's in the process of filling the gap. This is the top of the gap up here. And so what it needs to do is break above the 50-day simple moving average currently at 63. If you get above that, then you have the support level down here. That's probably going to be some resistance there at 675, and it's lined up with the 100-day simple moving average at 694. And then you have the 200-day simple moving average basically at 73. If you can get through those levels, then then the gap fill would be up here at the the uh, around uh, 82, and up here at the 300-day uh, simple moving average at 85 would be the target. So yeah. If it fails to get above that 50-day simple moving average, you could see the candles work back into the bands. And then you have EMA4 down here at 53 is the first support level. Okay, let's look at RKDA. Okay, so it had the bullish close above the 50-day uh, simple moving average today. That's always a big signal that that, that the stock is uh, in play and heating up. And so if it can stay above that level, it's currently at 25. You know, it, it, it's in play. Uh, we've been looking for this move. It's been in a very long downtrend. We've just been watching, waiting for uh, uh, the, this middle Bollinger Band to turn into support. Or it, it, it finally, you know, break above it. It got above it uh, back here on the 13th, but it failed to hold and st it continued sideways. Um, today, it closed above the middle Bollinger Band and above the 50-day simple moving average. If it can stay above 25, that would be super bullish. And we'd be looking for the, the, the share price to head up to the 100-day simple moving average at 34. If it drops below 25, that'll be a signal it's not ready to go and it could consolidate more. As long as it stays above the middle Bollinger Band at 22, a new uptrend could begin. Notice there is a PSR bull flip. Uh, yeah, the chart looks like you know it's it's really heating up with that move above the the. Uh 50-day simple moving average. Okay, let's look at UGAZ with, with the cold temperatures at, out east. Uh, you, you know, natural gas is on fire right now. It, it closed up 20% today, so that's a very strong move. It, it also closed above the <clears throat> middle Bollinger Band. So that was uh, that. That's exactly what bulls wanted to see. Um, you know, RSI is at 50 right here, 50.7. So there is a lot of room to run until overbought levels. Uh, um, it, it, so yeah, and you can see it's pinched here on uh, on ADX. So you want to see that green line cross over the black and the red line if you are a bull. And so the big move today was the the gap up open above the middle Bollinger Band. That is the key level to hold. As long as as uh, 64 is holding here, you know. 
the, the, a new upturn should begin. Uh, we, we're looking for a potential run up here to the 50-day simple moving average at 84, okay, basically 85, if that middle Bollinger Band holds. If it drops below the middle Bollinger Band, it will be a, a risk to hold. Uh, notice the giant volume spike today. That, that, that's, that, that's just what bulls want to see. And there is that uh, MACD bull cross on the 12, 26, and 9. Okay, look at U and G here. This is uh, has the same chart as uh, as uh, uh, you guys. Okay, so so for you uh, options uh, traders, you know you could trade uh, U and G. Uh, th th this uh, traded uh, very well. Uh, the calls were up big today. Um, so yeah, so yeah, another uh, angle. I notice that it is following the exact same pattern. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at LGCY. Uh, th this stock had a nice close today above the, uh, uh, here we go, uh, it closed right above that 100 day simple moving average. It also closed above the middle Bollinger Band. Um, that, that was the key uh, today is getting back above that middle Bollinger Band currently at 132.5. It needs to hold that level. Okay, so that's the big level to hold. If it can stay above that level, a new upturn should begin. You want to see it stay above the, the gold line here, the 100 day simple moving average now that it's above that level, currently at 141. If it can break above the 50 day simple moving average at 147, it could you know head higher. That's what, that's what you're looking for next. You want to see it break above 147. And then the upper Bollinger Band and the 200 day simple moving averages will, will be the target up here at about uh, 160. Okay, let's look here at OPGN. Okay, so keep an eye on this stock. It did close up 18% today. It, the chart's heating up. It closed, it, you know, it's been in a nasty downtrend ever since the middle Bollinger Band support level broke, you know, back here in October. You know, and it's just been, uh, you know, riding EMAs 4 and 8 resistance ever since. Today, it finally closed above EMAs 4, 8, and 13, the pink, lime, and orange lines. If it could stay above 19, that would be bullish. You could see the upper wick on today's candle hit 20 and pulled back. That is the middle Bollinger Band level, level the dotted purple line. The, the last time that there was a close at, above that level, it closed right at that level back here in October. So so a close above would be a very, uh, uh, it would be a bullish change in trend. No, notice that there's a, a volume spike. You know, you have a nice volume spike, the largest volume day since back here when, when the candles were above the middle Bollinger Band. So it looks like it wants to heat up. So if it gets above 20, it's back in play. And, and then we'll be looking for a uh, move up, uh, up here to the uh, uh, 50 and 100 day simple moving averages. It is in play today uh, on the on the move above EMAs 4 and 8. It just has to stay above that level. You know, it, 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 EMA 4 down here at 17 should be the, uh, you know, mental stop loss level it, and it will be a risk to hold if it drops below. You know, a close below EMA 4 would be a big red flag. It's always a risk to hold uh, uh, stocks that uh, close below EMA 4 on the daily chart if you are long. Okay, if you're short, then, then that's that. That's when you want to be short is when they're below EMA four. Okay, so NIHD. So it had a nice move today. It closed up 19%. Um, notice it's at 66 on RSI. Uh, it, it, it's been it has the nice uptrend going, and it's been pushing higher. As you can see here, it it, it had the long downtrend as well. You know, a couple times it tried to uh, turn that middle Bollinger Band into support and failed. It had that big drop. It found support down here at 25, and then it got back above the middle Bollinger band got above the 50-day simple moving average. So we got above the dotted purple line. The middle Bollinger Band is also the 20-day simple moving average. And then it got above the, the, the green line, which is the 50-day simple moving average. Notice that it had failed to get above that level in October and November and pulled back. And so now that level turned into support, and today it pushed higher. That's exactly what you want to see if you're a bull. Notice that it was light volume uh, on the days. If you look down here at the volume bars, uh, on the two days where there was a red candle and a black candle and it was testing the 50-day simple moving average, that was light volume. And, and and then you have the the, the big uh, bigger uh, green volume spike today on the update. That's what you want to see if you're a bull. You want to see the the green volume spikes uh, on those updates. There was this big uh, red volume spike here with the long upper wicks. You know that could be some uh, you know definitely profit taking off of the 100 day simple moving average. But it looks like they were loading. And so what we want to see on this chart, it, it, it's very simple: a, a break above this gold line at 0.455. A, a, a break above that level and close above 
is going to signal more upside potential. Now, if you look back here in August, it, that was the last time it closed above the 100-day simple moving average. And the very next day, it had a red candle in it, and it closed below, and it had a nasty downtrend. So what we're looking for here on the setup is a close above, and then that level to turn into support. If that happens, then you're talking about a run up to the 200-day simple moving average at, at 62, and that would fill the jar back up to this level from back in August. At, you know that's currently at about 70 cents. So 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 keep an eye on it. If it breaks above the 100-day simple moving average, it signals it wants to head higher. Okay, let's look at if it fails to, that could signal a temporary top and it could consolidate. Okay, APTO. Okay, so this stock, keep an eye on it. It has a nice uptrend going. It did close up 10% today. It has a gap on the chart. So, so notice down here on uh, last Friday, uh, um, you know, there's a, between a high of day last Friday and then the, the uh, low of day on Tuesday. There's a space on the chart. So if it fails to get above, like currently it, it bounced nicely off of the, the EMA4 at 211. And so it needs to get above this 230, just above 230 uh, closing price from uh, the 26. If it can close above that level, that's going to signal it wants to head higher. And then you're looking at this 260 high, uh, just below 260. The, the high here from the 26 is the next target. If it fails to get above 230 and it drops below EMA4 at 211, you could see that that gap fill and a pullback down to the 50-day simple moving average that is the downside risk notice there was a huge volume spike here giant volume so so it, it, it's very simple above 230 signals it wants to head higher below 211 signals possible gap fill below okay let's look at a couple let's change gears here those are all big board plays i'm just going to leave you with three united states marijuana sector stocks i'll just show them real quick they're they're three classics you know, you have like Coca-Cola, Pepsi. You have these classic names in the in the uh, soft drink sector, okay, it, it, soft drink industry. And in the marijuana sector, there are classic names as well. There's ones that have been around since the beginning. And TRTC, MJNA, and HE. MP are three of them. Okay, and so so these guys have been around a long time. TRTC. I'm going to show you this daily chart. It's showing that it's breaking out here. So it broke out above uh, resistance from uh, back here in uh, July. And so it, it broke out above high close resistance yesterday. And then today it, it, it broke out higher. And it's hitting the key resistance from January of, two, uh, of 2017. And this is a daily chart. I just wanted to show you the daily chart so you can see the moves. We've been, we've been tracking this uh, movement here. And so if it can get above this uh, key level here in January, th then that would signal that it wants to head higher. And you can see here the previous high from November and October was up here at 52. And so it looks like if it can break this 35 uh, resistance zone and turn it into support, it could head back to the 50s. It has really good volume. You know, it's, it's the right time with the California, uh, you know, legalization and uh, just the, the whole, uh, you know, marijuana movement is happening fast and these stocks are benefiting right now. Okay, so now we have MJNA and uh, the, the, the stock is uh, up 22% today. It's breaking out as well. This is Medical Marijuana Inc. You know, I think that this might even be the first uh, uh, publicly traded uh, marijuana company. And so they're like the original old school company here. And actually, you know, they've been doing well. They, they, they uh, posted some actually good earnings. Things are actually going good for them. These companies are actually, you know, have real businesses now in the beginning. Um, you know, it was it was pretty uh, uh, wild west. But but now they've actually uh, learned how to profit for real off the industry, not just sell shares. And so, uh, you know, they are dilution machines. So keep that in mind. But but, uh, you know, when they're running, they're in play and they actually are, are, are starting to uh, have legitimate businesses. A lot of these companies so that, that's where they need to take it to that level. So anyways, I want to get back to the charts. This is breaking out right now, and, and it broke out above this 14 high close from March, and so that was very crucial. You want to see it stay above 14? Now, if it can stay above 14, it looks like it should run up to 20. That was the high high in March, and it was the high close from uh, back here in December. And so if it can get above 20, then you're looking at 23 as the November high close. It looks like it's retracing back up to 23. Look at the volume. I mean, this, this year, it, it, you know, shows that it was the largest volume since uh, January. So, so you know, like we've been saying, these stocks have been running. They've been in an uptrend, and people are starting to catch on now. And so this could really get it going. If you look back here in October, how, how it went parabolic, you know, people are just catching on now. 
So this this should spike above the previous old high and make new highs. If you look here, it, it has uh, you know uh, uh, it made a higher low on the pullback. So so it dipped, came up, came back down, and then now it should make a new higher high. That that that's the way it should work. We'll see if it'll play out that way. Okay, here's H E M P. This this stock. Okay, keep an eye on it. Okay, so it, it's only up two percent here. It, it, it's had this really nice run, and uh, it, it's now it's hitting the key resistance level. And so this is another classic name. And, and, and so it's at the three hundred day simple moving average. All right, it's at zero point zero two eight. If it can get above that level and turn it into support, if you notice back in August that was the last time it closed above, and then you know you can see it hit that level, you know closed right at it, but failed to get above, and and it pulled back. It's the huge resistance level. So above that level, if it turns into support, that's going to signal that it wants to finally head higher and it's going to break this pre previous pattern if it fails to get above that level and turn it into support that's going to signal this is the top and the level to take in you know lock in those gains after this big run but, but you know we'll see if it can if this can be the time that's actually going to break out higher um, at crucial level on the charts uh, yeah so uh, yeah, thank you very much for viewing this video if you'd like to learn more about uh, charts and technical analysis check out the uh, YouTube channel, um, you know, more videos on the YouTube channel, and uh, check out mychartcoach.com, and then also please check out our uh, chat and our uh, check out the stock app. I'll, I'll post the link below the video. Okay, thank you.